In this video, I'm going to talk about graphing inequalities. So an inequality is a lot like an equation, but instead of having only a single solution, we're going to have an infinite number of solutions. So let's look at one uh, inequality and see what I mean by that. So this says x is less than 5. So I know we're saying that x, some variable, some unknown value, is less than 5. So all the numbers that make this true we call solutions of this inequality. So we can think to ourselves, well, is 0 less than 5? Well, sure. Is negative 10 less than 5? Well, sure. So in fact, all the negative numbers are less than 5, and all the numbers like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 are also less than 5. But we don't have to stop there. It's not just integers. It's also like 4.5 is less than 5. 4.222 is less than 5. So the way we can graphically represent this is we're going to draw our number line. And I'm just going to put the number 5 right in the middle because that's our number of interest. And I can put 6 over here on the right and 4 on the left. So this is just one piece of our entire real number line. And we only care about kind of what's going on right around here because 5 is our number of interest. So if x is less than 5, does it include 5? So is 5 less than 5? Well, no, that's not true. We just know we're going to start at 5 and go all the numbers to the left. So because it does not include 5, we're going to put an open circle at 5, and then we're going to put a line extending indefinitely to the left. So what this means is all the values that are shaded are all the numbers less than 5, so 4, 3, 2, 1, off the page and way to the left. And so let's say, is 6 a solution of this inequality? Well, is 6 less than 5? Well, no, it's not. That's why we didn't shade this side. We only shade the stuff that makes it true. Okay, so maybe let's take the same example. And what would it look like if I had to fill that circle in? Well, before I said, if x is less than 5, it doesn't include the 5. It just starts there and kind of goes to the left. Well, what if we put less than or equal to? Well, now with the addition of this equal to symbol, now we can include 5. So it's every number less than or equal to 5. So now I can fill in that circle at 5, which represents that now, yes, indeed, we are including 5 in this inequality. So we slid the page over here. Now let's look at another example x is greater than negative 2. So I know our number of interest is negative 2, so I'm going to go ahead and do a little handy dandy number line and put negative 2 in the middle because that's our number of interest. Now I'm going to fill in a couple of other values just so you get an idea of where we're talking about on the number line. So if negative 2, numbers that are smaller would be negative 3, and a number that would be bigger would be negative 1. And so these are just 1 apart, so negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, so we're just looking to the left of 0. So in this example, x is greater than negative 2. So it's going to be all the numbers that are bigger than negative 2. So it'll be on this side of the number line. Because this stuff is bigger on this side. And this stuff is littler on this side. So again, I'm going to put an open circle. And the reason is, is it does not include negative 2. We're just saying it's everything bigger than negative 2. So this could be negative 1.99999, which is right up against there. That would be included, so but not negative 2. So we're going to put an open circle, and we're going to go to the right, because that's the greater than side. I'm going to fill in that triangle, and then kind of fill in all these values right here. So we're saying in this one, x is greater than negative 2. So open circle at negative 2, with a line extending indefinitely to the right. Well, one handy trick you can use if you're not sure which way the line goes, as long as the variable is on the left, you can kind of put a little line right there, and you can think, oh, you can think of that as an arrow, and you can say, oh, look, the arrow is going this way. So you can kind of fill it into the right. But that only works as long as your variable is on the left side. Okay, so now how could we make that a closed circle? What if I wanted to include negative 2? Well, instead of just being greater than, I can do greater than or equal to, and now I'll fill that thing in right there. Okay, so now we've gone and we've looked at uh, x is greater than negative 2 with an open circle and the line extending indefinitely to the right. Now I've added this equal to, so we're actually including the negative 2 as well. So I went ahead and filled it in. So now x is greater than or equal to negative 2, which is a closed circle at negative 2, 
with a line extending indefinitely to the right.